Hello everyone and welcome to the Overt Monitoring with Grafana and Advanced Options. My name is Shirley Radko, I'm a BI Principal Software Engineer and I've been working at Red Hat for the past seven years. Uh, I'm the maintainer of Overt DWH and Grafana uh, and with me we'll co-present today Aviv Littmann. She's a BI and Integration Intern and she's leading the Overt Grafana uh, development. On the agenda today, we will talk about uh, the data warehouse, how it is built, uh, the Ovid Grafana, how to add custom dashboards to the Grafana, and we will show you a demo on how to do that. The contributors uh, for this project from the engineering side are Aviv, myself, and Edidia. Uh, on the, uh, and on the QE side, Lucy, Gillan, and Pavel. So let's go over a bit about what is the data warehouse. The data warehouse collects, collects the data about all the overt entities, uh, starting from the data center, the clusters, uh, the hypervisors and the VMs, um, and uh, their usage, usage consumption of the disk, CPU, network, and memory. Uh, the data warehouse uh, is doing the process of ETL, which is a, pro a term coming from the BI. Um, and let's go over it. ETL. The first one is extract. Uh, extracting the metrics from the engine database uh, on one minute intervals. Then we transform. The data is being validated, transformed, cleansed, and we add additional metadata to it. Then there are aggregations of hourly and daily aggregations. The data retention um, can be set to one of two options, basic and full scale. The difference between them is the time that we keep the samples hourly and daily data. For the basic, uh, which is the default, we save samples for 24 hours, uh, hourly data for one month, and we don't save any daily data. Uh, this enables us to keep the data warehouse small, but it comes over um, with a price that you don't have a lot of history. On the full scale, we save the samples data for 24 hours, the hourly, daily, uh, the hourly data for two months, and the daily data for five years. Uh, on the load side, we take this data and we save it to the Postgres database, which is called Orbit Engine History. Uh, by default, this database is saved to the same machine as the engine database, but during the engine setup, you can set it up on a remote machine. Uh, the data warehouse can be migrated to a separate machine even after it was um, initially set up on the same machine as the engine. Um, this is because the data warehouse can become um, very large because you save uh, for full scale, you can save uh, five years of data. If you have a um, a big scale environment of Ovid, then you probably should uh, set it up on a remote machine. Let's go over about the architecture. So we have the Revan, the Ovid engine, which is pulling using VDSM the data from the hosts and VMs, and saves it to the engine database. Then we have the data warehouse which is pulling data from the engine DB every one minute, and then it saves it to its Postgres database. Grafana uh, connects to the data warehouse database and queries it and displays it, which is the visualization tools. And now I'll pass it to Aviv uh, to talk about the over Grafana. Let's talk about Grafana. So as Shirley explained, Grafana is pulling data from DWH, uh, that it's a PostgreSQL database. 
and present it. So Grafana is the UI tool to present data from DWH. Uh, we have in Grafana pre-built dashboard uh, that are divided to four main folders, executive, trend, service level, and inventory. The user can make a custom dashboard and also make changes to pre-built dashboard by copy. I will explain it later. Uh, dashboards are based on the legacy of Ovid Report Project and Jasper Report. Uh, the last point, uh, data display based on the time period selected by the user. So we have some, most of the reports are ba time based and the user can select a time frame and see all the activity in that time frame. Uh, the queries in this dash dashboard query in the sample hourly and daily statistics. So that means the user can see data for each minute, for each hour and for each day. About the installation, so Grafana and DWH are installed by default during the engine setup that we will soon see. Uh, except for, for host self-hosted engine, in that case you will need to install it manually. Uh, so DWH is installed in basic scale by default, but we strongly recommend uh, to change to full scale. As Shirley explained before, full scale saves data for five years and basic scale for one month. So this is the engine setup. As you can see, all the VARs are set here. The username, the database name, and so on. Here you can see the web address for Ovid Engine and for Ovid Engine Grafana. After the setup uh, is finished successfully, you can enter the Ovid Engine web, press monitoring portal, and it will automatically connect to Grafana. Uh, let's see some example of the pre-built dashboard. Uh, this is the executive dashboard. It, so, it shows more administrative information about user uh, activity on VMs, uh, about uh, the OS of VMs and host. Here is the cluster dashboard. It shows information in the cluster level. Uh, how many hosts, how many virtual machines, the host in the cluster, uh, uptime, the high ability virtual machine in the cluster. Also it shows the cluster over commit, how many CPUs for the host and how many for the VMs. The next example is the host resources usage dashboard. Uh, this dashboard shows for a day of a week or a hour of a day, the average number of usage uh, for virtual machine number, for a CPU, memory. The last example is the inventory dashboard. It show more latest information, uh, the state now, what happened now. So as we can see here, this database have uh, 320 CPUs, but in the, the VM have 832. So it's a problem. Maybe we should add more uh, CPUs or more hosts to this data center. Now I'm going to show you how to uh, create a copy of a pre-built dashboard because you can't edit them. So you go to each, any pre-built dashboard you want, press on a dashboard setting, save as. You choose the name, it will automatically add copy but you can change it. Uh, choose the folder and save. If you want to reserve the tags, you need to make it uh, true. So after you save the dashboard, you can edit it. So here is the panel. You, you press on the little arrow here on each panel. Press edit. You can choose the visualization or see the correct current one, and data source and the SQL query. And now it's time for demo. I will show you some things in Grafana. So we connect to the Ovid Engine web portal. It's by uh, writing in the in the address line your FQDN of your engine and then over your engine. You press on monitoring portal and it will automatically connect you to Grafana. You press on home. Then you have four a pre-built folder and 18 pre-built dashboard. Here in the general is a dashboard I created for myself. I will show you later in the demo. So a nice feature I want to show you is the tags. As you can see, uh, 
near each dashboard you have the tags and it will uh, help you to know what the content of the dashboard another cool thing you can do with that it's uh, I don't know if I want to see information about disks and about host disks so it will uh, give you the dashboard that contains information about host and disk so it's very very nice so first dashboard I want to show you is the inventory dashboard it's part of the inventory dashboards folder this shows you the states right now, the latest configuration and the latest data. It can be very helpful for a system administrator uh, to monitor uh, and to choose uh, the resources users, usage. As you can see, for CPU and memory, the usage is changing over time. So we can see here the total host memory and CPU and the running VMs uh, CPU and memory. Here you can see the overcommit rates. Um, here in the disk size you can know uh, how much is used. Uh, so you can see the total disk size and the VMs use disk size. And you know how much you have left uh, until it's soon be over. Here you can see it's in uh, orange. That means it's soon you, we will have to allocate more uh, disk space to TLV2 database. Another cool dashboard I want to show you in trend, it's the resources usage. Here you can see the peaks or the average by the day of a week or hour of a day. In this way you can see hours of peaks and maybe in these hours you can allocate more resources to, to make the performance better. Here is the CPU, you can see that 11 o'clock and 5 o'clock, it's very high uh, usage. Here in the memory, it's small uh, difference. You can also change the time range for the um, less 30 minutes. And then see in 11 o'clock, there was busier. You can also search for a specific VM. Let's search for my VMs and see when they are the busiest. So I can choose all my VMs and then see my data. Very nice and helpful. Now I'm going to show you how to copy a dashboard so you can edit it and add columns to it. So imagine I'm using this dashboard and I see all the VMs that are unused, 100% planned downtime. And I want to see how much uh, memory and CPU they have so I know which uh, VM to delete first. So I can go to my dashboards and see for example in the VM's inventory dashboard that I have this information the VM memory size and the number of CPU cores I can go inside the query and I can see the VM size and the CPU size and take them now I'll, I will go back to my dashboard I will press dashboard setting, save as, it will automatically add copy and I can choose the folder I save it in, I will save it in the same folder. I will copy the tags also. So here, now you can edit because it's not a pre-built dashboard. You go inside and here after the uptime I will add the rows because of uh, this query is using group by I will have to use an aggregation function or to group by also by the VM CPU cores and the VM memory side I will choose the max for now 
because I want the latest information. So edit. I will also we need to edit to the other query. This is query in the sample table and this query the hourly and daily. And because we are in the last 30 days, there is no information yet. So I will edit here after the half time. So now I want to delete the VMs that are unused and have the most uh, VM memory size and CPU. So I can also change the order by. Grafana will automatically can edit. So I want to order by going plan downtime. Then the VM memory side to clear up the most memory. And then the VM CPU course. Again, I will edit it to the second query as well. <coughs> I can also add the tags now. We use also CPU and memory. It will be easier for you. And you can save the dashboard because it's not a pre bit dash dashboard. Add CPU and memory. And the dashboard is saved. can change to the last 24 hours as you can see here it will be changed so now I have the information you can order by each column if you press it Now I have the information and I want to extract it to an Excel file. So it's possible also in Grafana, very cool feature. Uh, if it's a table, you go here in the little arrow. You can do it also in pre-built dashboard. You press more, export CSV, Excel CSV, export. Then it will download the file, you open it, press OK, and it will open an Excel file with all the information in the table. The last thing I want to show you is how you create your own dashboard. So you, you click here on the plus, dashboard, choose visualization, you choose the visualization you want. For example, a table. Here you can write the SQL query. Uh, if you remember, I show you the DWH schema in the overview documentation and you can use that or you can take inspiration from other pre-built dashboard. Here you set the column style, if it's a date, if it's a number, how many decimals, what is the alias. Here you can write a description and a panel title. If you want to add VARs to choose like the data center, there are also can be a query. You press here on the var, add variable. You have a few. You can choose a query, and then you can choose from the table all the databases name, all the cluster, all the VMs. Multi-value means that you can choose all the entities, include all option. And that's how you build uh, your own dashboard. So that's it for Grafana. So in this slide we have uh, an important uh, installation documentation uh, how to change to full scale uh, it's in the one command how to migrate to a separate machine if you choose full scale it's better to migrate to a separate machine and as a reminder if you have a self-hosted engine Grafana is not installed by default so we, you will have to configure Grafana after the engine setup also it's one command